Whoa! What's up everybody? This is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Uh, it's an early Monday morning. Had a really, really long weekend. Worked all weekend. Felt like I came home and slept and woke back up and went back to work. It's freaking crazy. But that's the way the weekends can be. Right now, um, this table has got a mat on it so you can't really see what's going on here. But let me show you. Uh, basically, this is my VIC coil that I've been working on for some time. Um, I've actually, probably a year ago already, I've been uh, actually built my first one, and it was a round style. Um, I'll just go ahead and show it to you. Looked like this. All right, that was the first version that I made, and um, it was with the data from Stanza State. Um, the second one that I made with the square bobbins is right here and the third one that I made right now is the one you have sitting in front of me that you guys just saw and I am very excited to tell you guys that the measurements for this thing are pretty much dead on uh, the only thing I can think of is that the wire um, the actual insulation needs to be a little bit different this is a double heavy build this is a heavy build, so it's two layers. Um, it's 30 AWG. Um, it's 0 .11, 0 .011 if you measure it. That's 0 .011 inches. Uh, if you caliber it, um, the, the spec sheet actually said it was right at 0 .15, I believe. 0 .015. But um, that's what this is. This is about 0 .11. And uh, Maxar, uh, no, excuse me, Hexar, over at the forums has been uh, wrapping some and he got pretty close measurements but he does not have a inductance meter so after seeing his in measurements went ahead and uh, purchased the 30 AWG thank you to you guys greatly appreciated um, so he wrapped his and uh, it looked pretty good so between my 29 gauge wrap and my 32 gauge wrap I think I've wrapped four of these in total um, just on this type of style of bobbin I have come to the conclusion that 30 AWG is going to be it. Um, I do have a, a diode on here I am using. If I can get a good close up of that. It's a U1560. Um, it's actually a, uh, what is it, MUR? Exact same one with Stan was using, except this is a 1560 instead of the 1550. I also have a diode across the primary. I was playing with it. I can get very nice um, signals out of this, but I'm still not getting the bipolar pulse, you know, where you see the double pulse from the rectifier. I'm just seeing the unpolar pulsing. Um, and this time, last time, I actually wrapped these two chokes the other direction. Well, this time I didn't. This time I wrapped these the exact same direction. So right now what I'm going to do is show you these measurements. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I do have a full-blown LRC meter, thanks to you guys. You've actually funded that for me, and it is so appreciated, and I want to say thank you. Um, I'm just going to give you some quick specifications. Now, I have this on an iron core, and uh, I'm just going to give you the specs of the regular. So, really quickly, I'm going to run through this. Um, this is the primary choke 2 or excuse me, choke one, choke two, and uh, the secondary. Pull it up so you can actually see it here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can still see it. Um, so basically I've got... Get the camera in here. <laughs> okay. So basically you've got uh, 72, 76, 70, and 7.5. If we go over here to stance measurements, this document, by the way, is posted over at the forums. Um, anyone can grab a hold of it if they'd like. I will post a link in the description of that. Um, okay, so this is no ferrite readings. This is with a fluke meter. Um, go back to mine. All right. On the primary, I have 10.5. On Stan's primary, 10.5. On the choke 2, 70.2. On choke 2, it's 70.1. It would be helpful if you guys could see that other number. There you go. Um, I'm going to scroll down here a little bit so you can see it. 
All right, uh, choke one, 76.6, choke one, 76.6. These are with a fluke meter. That's the uh, uh, secondary, 72.2, and stands 72.4. Um, all of my inductance readings are ever so slightly high. Uh, stands is uh, 68.7 on that particular one. Mine is 74.69. And all of them are like that across the board. Uh, the, the primary here is uh, one point. 783 millihenry on my coil and stands is 1.65 so the less wire you have on there the closer you are so that's why I'm thinking that the inductance is going to be ever so slightly different if I change my um, wire coating so for now this will get us where we want to be but we definitely need to continue on possibly trying a different wire now that I've gotten this far I'm gonna do a little bit more calculating on the thickness of wire uh, coating because the the you can see here these things fit on here nice they are the right physical dimension um, again I was getting the correct signals out of this not really anything else at the moment um, I'm gonna do some other stuff and um, I'll give that result when I get to that point so that's it 